Hello everyone. Longevity is so important. I'm so fascinated about it and I have so many daily habits by this point that I've incorporated in my routine to live longer. And the best part is that all these habits also have very positive side effects. So it's not only for longevity, but also for health, happiness, and feeling lots better. Number one is squatting. I used to live in China and Shanghai and one of the craziest things to me was how incredibly healthy but also mobile the older population was. When I think about my own grandparents who I then went home to see, they couldn't even stand up without help. Squatting is a very natural movement that is very healthy to increase mobility in our hips. And this is also the most important place for you to be able to stand up and sit down by yourself, especially as we grow older. So losing this hip mobility can be very bad for our health and it also takes away our freedom. So ditch the chairs as often as you can and squat instead. Number two is turmeric and black pepper. This is something I try to eat on a daily basis. You only need a quarter of a teaspoon, so very little of turmeric and just a pinch of black pepper. The anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric are just ridiculous and I'll link some um, resources in the description below but you should definitely consider adding this to your diet. Now I know someone will say to take it with fat for increased absorption but processed fats are not healthy for you. Coconut oil only goes on my body it never goes inside my body because I don't want clogged arteries. So if you feel the necessity to take this with some sort of fat, take it with soy milk or take it with avocado or banana or some nuts or some nut butter. They're fat in most foods, so just take it with a food that has a bit more fat in it if you'd like to boost the absorption. But the majority of the boost come from black pepper. My third daily habit for longevity is having removed and keep removing toxins in my home. A healthy indoor air climate is really important since we spend a lot of time inside. So for the times when I can't go outside and when I have to stay inside, I do my best to keep our house as clean and fresh as possible. This means only using natural cleaning products and keeping the doors and windows open for as much as I possibly can. So we keep our house super clean without any toxins. Number four is feeding my microbiome. The emerging science on the microbiome is both overwhelmingly exciting and terrifying to me. So many things we do in our modern society is killing or harming our gut bacteria and also our microbiome. But lucky for us, there are many ways you can support your microbiome and some of the things I try to do on a daily basis is eat food I've grown myself and eat them as soon as possible after they've been picked. Since I don't have that much time to garden, I have started doing microgreens and it works quite well. I just grow them in old milk cartons, chop them off, and yeah, it's very easy and super affordable compared to buying microgreens in the store. Another thing I like to do at least weekly is go to the forest and breathe through my nose. And another thing you can do that you might not have heard of before is to compost your food scraps and then grow food in that compost. So there will create a microbiome in the compost and then in the soil and then that will be transferred into your body and it will all work to support each other. It's very, very cool stuff. Number five is no more conventional makeup or beauty products. Another key point for longevity and reducing stress and inflammation in the body is to stop this buildup of toxins. Now, we don't do this by going on purging and weird diets. Instead, I think it's a much better idea to stop toxins just around you. And now we get a lot of toxins from the products that we put on our skin. So I tend to avoid using makeup. And for my skin, I use only oil and natural sunscreen. And sunscreen is another just bonus tip for not maybe feeling younger, but for looking younger for longer. My sixth healthy habit for longevity is movement. Moving every day is so important for feeling young and for living longer. I like to focus on mobility, so moving my body in ways which I don't typically move it throughout a day to make sure I move every single part of my body. I also like to go for walks and I find that these two ways are very simple ways to get movement in every day. Number seven is my favorite point and that is mindset. Many of us prepare to die or prepare to get old at the age of 60 or maybe 70. Normally the age around when people around us that we've seen and that we love are starting to get old or sick. It's almost like we're manifesting this premature death. We're so preparing for this decline with age. 
but you can start exercising at any age you can take control over your health at any age and you can feel better at any age you learn more for every year that you're alive every day every moment you're alive and you can also become better at things so we mainly become better by practice which is why you should only be better by age number eight is breathing or breath work just a few minutes of slow breathing a day has proven to have tons of health benefits and i like to incorporate breath work in my daily routine the difference i feel afterwards is just amazing so it has very beneficial effects both long term and short term i don't really feel better after i exercise i never really have but after breathing for 20 minutes i feel so so much better it's the best way for me to feel healthy and happy every day the ninth tip for longevity is to make sure to eat your fruit fiber legumes and vegetables every single day one thing i make sure to eat every day preferably three times a day but sometimes two is whole intact grains this means i get enough fiber that goes all the way through my colon so non-processed grains so i try to avoid sugars flour syrups anything like that and instead try to eat the whole food so steel cut oats instead of rolled oats or avocado instead of avocado oil or apple instead of apple juice. And just a quick note on this, things I don't eat include also stuff like charcoal powder or elixirs, things that aren't food. I suggest you don't eat these if you want to live longer and have a healthy tummy. Number 11, here we go, is overnight fasting. As far as I'm aware, there isn't that many good studies on fasting. How Ever. We do know that eating a lot in the morning is better than eating a lot at night because this is how we're supposed to process foods. We shouldn't eat a lot at night. Calories aren't equal in the morning compared to the night. It's truly, truly fascinating. So I make sure to never eat after around 6 to 7 p.m. I don't eat after 7 p.m. And then I try to leave at least an overnight gap of 14 hours or 12 most days uh, before I eat breakfast. I also try to eat my biggest meals at lunch and breakfast. However, this can be quite difficult sometimes because I'm working and stuff. And the last tip that I think everyone in our generation has suddenly forgot and about, and that is sleep. If you don't sleep, you won't look, feel, or be healthy or happy. So you really, 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 really have to sleep. I know it is really difficult in this hyper modern world, dystopian place of technology and working so, so hard for people in our generation. I know it's very, very difficult, but we're not gonna be able to enjoy, hopefully, <laughs> the fruits of our labor someday unless we sleep. And it's just so, so important to sleep eight hours a night, no screen time. I would also suggest you try turning the Wi-Fi off at night so you sleep without your phone in the night and in the morning. I know it'll be difficult in the beginning, but it'll feel so, so much better and your body will really, really thank you. So those are my 12 tips for longevity. I have, I think, at least another 20 <laughs> that I do on a daily basis, but I couldn't fit so much in a video. Let me know if you do any of these habits or what habits you have for longevity. I also like to do stuff like swimming outside in nature and breathing in pine trees, but those are tips for another video. I have some really fun videos coming up for you and I just have to figure out how to film them. I also have a crazy project I'll share with you today or tomorrow. <laughs> that I will be filming. I'll tell you more about it as soon as I've gotten my breath back. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.